looks like I just came out of the closet. What am I doing with my life? Now, I know you can tell by the title of this video. I bought not one, but two fucking pairs of Gucci shoes. So which one am I going to unbox first? In today's video, I'll be unboxing the burgundy canvas Gucci boots. Let's go. And before we start the video, you know what to do? Please click the subscribe button below. Attention class, Professor Vu, as known as Very Snatch, is back. Today, we're gonna do some research. Um, we're going to look back into my purchase history and find out why I got these boots. I know they're soon in a box. You guys will get to see them soon. Let's start our class session. Gucci 101. Why I got these boots. That's what we're gonna learn today. So, we're gonna learn these things. We're gonna go into the intro first, and then we're gonna jump into reason one and two of why I got these boots. After that, we're gonna go to reason 3 and 4. When I'm done presenting reason 3 and 4, I will show you guys an example of what you will find out if you pay attention to my lecture. We will dive into some of the factors why I should not get those boots. And last but not least, of course, conclusion. I will jump into the first part of our lecture today. So Gucci, you will learn the following today. Reason number one. I have been eyeing on these boots for a while. So I have seen these boots several months ago and they live in my mind. And they live in my mind rent free. I would check on them once in a while to see if they would go on sale. But unfortunately, they never went on sale. I was thinking long and hard. That's what she said when I was making this decision. Reason number two. I don't have any pair of Gucci boots and they are all loafers and slides. This is not a fact. I do not have any pair of Gucci boots. I own everything from the beautiful Creole Core Mary Jane shoes to the iconic Prince Town slides, but I do not own any pair of boots from Gucci. I brought these to class today to show you guys. This is the Mary Jane shoe. This is the Gucci slide. Please wait till I'm done with my lecture. You can come up and look at them. Please don't try them on. I really don't want your nasty feet to get into my shoes. Reason number three. All my boots are in black. Black boots are my thing. However, it doesn't hurt to add a unique baby to the family. So did you pay attention to that line that I just said? Um, Kevin, what do you think I have in here? If this is one of the reasons why I decided to get these boots, then do you think that these are going to be black? or they're gonna be in another color. In another color? Yes, you're correct. I'm giving you five points for extra credit. Meet me after class. So last but not least, reason number four. I only buy designer boots with unique designs. For an example, my tabby boots, my Balenciaga boots, 
my Raft Simon boots with the metal tip. If they are designer boots, they should have some unique designs that make me want to spend more money to get them. Right? Wrong. As an experienced shopper, I can tell you that sometimes the item can be super simple. And the price can be above a thousand dollars. Yes, the price is above a thousand dollars because of the quality and the amount of work they put into the item. But still, I wouldn't buy a pair of designer boots just because they are designer. Exhibit A. Look at this boot. I'm not going to tell you the brand, but I will tell you the price. Other than the unique detail on the heel, personally, I don't think this is unique enough for me to buy. These are $1,400. I have seen these types of boots everywhere. H&M, ASOS, they were big around 2010. Some guys think, some guys think that they are the shit when they wear these with skinny jeans and a fedora hat. My last point for this lecture, what would stop me from getting these Gucci boots? So what would stop me from getting these Gucci boots? Let's find out. So here are some factors that would stop me from getting these Gucci boots. Period. Do you have any questions? Are we clear with what I just present? So let's get started. <clears throat> I'm so excited. Okay, so not gonna lie, I did open the box yesterday. But don't worry, I only opened the box to make sure that the shoes came okay, to make sure that they fit stuff like that and then I put them back inside the box and its original packaging so that I can show you guys on camera again I already forget what they look like uh, I don't remember what they look like now that I'm talking about them so it came in this box super heavy like it's so heavy this is like I would say five pounds And then, I'm going to open this. Some dust bags. These are perfect for you when you travel or something like that. Do you see them? I want to scream. I'm just going to keep the tissue papers in here to keep the shape of the boot and yeah oh my god it's fucking beautiful look at this isn't it beautiful so it looks like this Super cute. In size six. And it is made in Italy. So my favorite thing about these boots is definitely how they mix the print and the texture together to create this unique piece. It's just amazing. So if you notice, the shape is very simple. It's not too complicated, right? But the combination of the logo pattern and the embossed texture leather trim throughout really brings out the unique design and the beauty of these shoes. Just look at them for a moment and appreciate the design. I love the tiny logo on the outside right here. Super tiny and adorable. The zipper makes it super convenient to put it on. I mean, I don't think you can put this on without a zipper, so I don't know why I said that. Okay, here's the thing. Gucci shoes always 
run one size bigger than your actual size. So let's say if you wear a size 7, you need to get these in their size 6 or if you're size 8, you will get these in size 7, etc. I wear a 6.5, sometimes 7, but I got these in size 6 and they fit me perfectly. These boots are super comfortable to wear. They are not stiff and hard to walk in at all. These would look cute with crop pants also so you can showcase the angle boots. Other than that, what else can I say about these? They're just perfect. Perfect is the word. How am I going to style these? Easy. I'll show you how I would wear these the following outfits. So this is the first outfit. This is how I would style myself with these boots. This whole outfit is custom made. If I wear this, I would tuck my pants inside my boots. I would definitely wear this to like a dinner party or something like that. This outfit is so fun. I really like the brown. It goes really well with these boots even though these are in like burgundy. But as you can see, it looks just fine. I love this whole purple outfit. I have these custom made pants. This top is from ASOS and of course with the shoes. This looks amazing. I'm actually obsessed with this outfit. And the burgundy is not really purple, it's red. But the reason why I put on purple pants is because you can see that the purple kind of manipulates the burgundy and turns it into like a purple tone. So that's what I did. This is the matching jacket to the pants. The whole outfit looks kind of good. I feel like I did really good with this outfit. Even though all I did was putting on a fucking custom made matching set. What do you guys think? Thank you for watching this video. Please click the subscribe button below. Click the bell icon below too. Why not? It will send you a notification every time I upload a new video. Please give this video a like. Follow me on Instagram. I'll definitely follow you back. And... Yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.